Hello everyone and welcome back to Aditya Kids Education and today we are going to learn about light sound and force of class 3 and we have already learned about light in detail and i feel very happy to see that you all like that video very much and if you haven't watched that video then please check out the link is given in the description box and today we will learn about sound and force so in our daily life we hear different types of sounds like chirping of birds ringing of phone barking of dog honking of horns etc and the list is endless so we also produce sound when we speak sing and laugh when we talk we are making sound our tongue help us to make sound we hear all kinds of sound with the help of our ears okay now let's see how sound is produced with an activity take a drum and if you beat the skin of a drum what will you notice let's see yes the skin vibrates and produces sound that quickly lies down now if you beat the drum skin and quickly put some grains on it yes you will see grains jump off because of the back and forth movement of the drum skin and this movement is known as vibrations all kinds of sound that you hear are produced because of vibrations there are different types of sounds like soft sound loud sound pleasant sound and unpleasant sound so first we will see the soft sound we talk very softly we talk very softly while playing chinese whisper next is loud sound the sound from a drum is very loud isn't it next is pleasant sound we enjoy to listen pleasant sounds like chirping of birds sound of piano and sound of wind chimes and pleasant sounds make us happy so next is unpleasant sound unpleasant sound irritates us unpleasant sound considered as noise and are disturbing so loud and unpleasant sounds are called noise sounds of horns honking and loud music are unpleasant to hear too much of noise can also damage our ears so we should speak softly to others we should avoid too much of honking of vehicles and we should keep the volume of radio and television low and now our next topic is force so in our daily life we see many objects around us like chair table books toys etc but do these object move on their own no they can't move on their own so let's do an activity with this monster truck okay so 
we need to push or pull this monster truck to move. So, if you bring an object or a thing closer to you, then it is said to be pull or we say you are pulling the object. Okay. Next, if you move an object away from yourself, then it is push or we can say you are pushing the object. Okay. So, what we conclude from this activity? Yes, a push or a pull makes an object move and this pull or push is called force. Understood? So, what is force? Yes, a push or pull is called force. Now, a force can cause different changes on an object like force can move an object, force can stop an object, force can change the direction of an object, force can change the shape of an object. Now let's see the effect of force on object in detail. So first is force moving an object. Force can move an object kept at rest position. For example, a boy pulls a trolley of flower plants and the trolley starts moving. Okay. Next is force stopping an object. Force can also stop a moving object. For example, a girl catches a football and the moving football stops. Yes? Next is force change direction of an object. It means a force can change the direction of a moving object. For example, a boy hits a ball with a bat and the direction of a ball changes. Next is force can change the shape of an object. For example, a boy playing with clay and the shape of the clay changes. Another example can you give me? Yes, you have seen your mother your mother rolls chapati from the dough by applying force on it. Thus, force can do many things. Here we complete our topic, light, sound and force. I hope you like this video and if you like it, please subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to get more interesting videos. Till then, stay safe and have a nice day.